In this video, we are going to look at how to place beams and a few options there. Also, I'm going to look at a drawing and use that drawing as a reference point. You can download the drawings and the CAD files if you visit our website. I have brought in the PDF files using two separate commands. First command is PDF attach and the second command is PDF import. These are standard AutoCAD commands which can be used and is also available in advanced T. And I use that to bring in the PDF and then scale the PDF to the correct value here. In the advanced steel model I have created a new layer group named PDF and within that layer group I have created a few layers named plan, north elevation, south elevation, stair and construction. Probably stair I don't need. So I am going to model over this section which is actually taken in this area this area and once I model this frame I'm going to copy this across first let me check whether these dimensions are correct otherwise everything that I do will be wrong so at 1400 correct 3200 correct so that should be 4600 correct and uh, 1400 here Uh, this seems to be correct and uh, I can use this uh, model. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the layer of these lines into construction layer. So let me set that to the current layer and then I'm going to use the layer command and change that to construction layer. So layer, click there and current layer and uh, this one also I'm going to do the same thing explode it first yeah and uh, all right I have uh, transferred some lines to the concession layer and also drew the center line of this one so I will model these beams using the top line that is I don't want to use that one but I should be using this line and uh, also this roof also I'll be basically copying that one to there once I get to the plan view. For this beam I will be using the center line to model this one. Now what I am going to do is I am going to control shift C to copy all these objects. So it prompts me for an uh, origin. So I am going to pick uh, this point or I could actually key in 0, 0, 0 and select the object. So I am going to select all of them. Now to insert the block, it's an unnamed block, I can immediately do Control Shift plus V, Control Shift plus V and it will paste it as a block. Now this is a block and if I look at the properties, some weird name, it is not a named block. I could name this block by going to rename and then select that one and I'm going to call this section okay now if I select that you can see that the name is section I check the dimension difference between the RS 23347 and uh, 26786 the difference is actually 3439 but I put an in CAD it is 3431 about 8 millimeters difference uh, I will use this dimension and not rely on CAD for that one. So I want to insert this section at that point but oriented vertically. So I select that, this one and select the UCS there. Then I am going to do a bit of a rotation on the UCS. So get the UCS with one point here and rotate and now rotate around the x-axis that's it next thing I want to do is work on that area so I want to create a view cube so let's do that one so I click on uh, that icon 
and I'm going to use two points click one point second point and uh, it's asking for some depth I have 500 500 give it a name uh, it's on grid 1 so I'm going to put grid 11 actually I have to select a uh, UCS so which I am going to select that one and that's a view cube to activate the view cube I double click on the view cube <coughs> and that view flies into position and you can see that m all the other elements are hidden now now if we want to see everything just delete the view, view cube or activate another view cube I can delete it now and it's, uh, everything is shown and do there back we are now to create a beam I have lined up the UCS x-axis along that line and I put the origin point here and also I have put the 2D snap on make sure that 2D snap is always on otherwise you could click somewhere else which you are not intending to click also to avoid stray clicking I have isolated the construction layer because I drew already a few lines there so that I see only the construction line now I am going to use the rolled beam section this is very important you got to use that item do not use this tool with is which is beam polyline it has got some problems when you are trying to do some edge cut so definitely you have to use this item only this icon so I click on that and then start point and end point this is also very important why you click the start point and the end point because when you try to use advanced copy these things do matter now I press enter and this dialog box comes up and positioning now this is also very important how you position I am still to get my head around uh, the way this is uh, working unlike Tecla this uh, I couldn't decipher yet how this is working because uh, when I click at certain points this moves in a pattern which I am not yet able to understand I'm going to add the braces now and I have to use the beam tool again and uh, change the section hide uh, the beams which are already modeled so that I can see clearly etc etc make sure these ends are uh, in the beam which is already modeled so here is the final portal frame for this particular exercise the tools which I had to use was the plate tool the circular plate and uh, the bolts and uh, the cut this is that cut I had to use and also I had to use this cut with this much and a proper use of UCS and 2D, uh, 2D snaps and uh, these tools are extensively used UCS uh, coordinate system extensively used so if you master these things and also rotate the UCS uh, to various axes you can model these things uh, rather easily hi guys thank you for watching the video and if you like the video please subscribe